so today's video is going to be a quick makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. Honestly, what inspired this look was this new red blush that I just recently got in PR. <sighs> I just shoved my finger in. And I wanted to base my whole look off of this blush. And I kind of wanted to do a look that was perfect for this time of year. I feel like right now we've got the winter blues, folks. January is always so depressing. I know it's my birthday month, but God, January is a sad month. And it's extra cold and extra wintry. Not in Miami, but it, for you guys. It's extra cold and ugh, shoveling snow. That's, God. How do you get to work? But anyway, I wanted to do a look inspired by ice, snow, and the cold. Like when your cheeks and your nose get all red and you're just like, snowy, you have like snow on your eyes, on your inner corners, you got some snow, some frost. And so I wanted to do a look inspired by that and I love this look so much. I have been obsessed with red lips, especially recently, like more than ever. And I love a good glossy Betty Boo lip. So anyway, this intro is longer than it needs to be. So if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay. Oh my camera's dying, that's beautiful. We just started, okay. <laughs> Guys, I have been loving this Color Science SPF 50. TikTok made me buy it. I saw this going viral all over TikTok. I was seeing a million ads and I was like, I I'm gonna buy it. So I picked it up and I got mine in the shade uh, medium and it's too deep for me. I don't know why. I don't know what I think. I don't have a medium skin tone. <laughs> By the way, it's like hurricane weather outside. So it's so, so gloomy. This is as good as it's gonna get lighting wise. So yeah, it's amazing. It's SPF 50. It's like one of those that just like blends into your skin. It starts off white and it has like all those little micro bleeds, beads. Micro bleed and as you start to blend it into the skin it starts to adjust to your skin tone and I love it It's really really nice. The only thing is since it's not a tinted moisturizer type of SPF It does look a little drying on my skin So I have to make sure that I super duper moisturize before going in with that product because if not it will look a little bit Splotchy on the skin, but I do really love it So I'm just gonna moisturize the skin with the typology face moisturizer with hyaluronic acid and shea butter I love this so much it smells like almonds. Oh, it smells, it smells so good. Super duper hydrating. I love it. So since this is my summer shade and I am not that shade anymore, I'm going to mix in a little bit of this Chanel Le Beige foundation because it's super light. So I'm just going to do like equal parts kind of. Oh, the sun is coming in and out. Oh my gosh, guys, I am officially caught up with every single Sarah J Mass book. That's it, I'm in the Massiverse, folks. I can finally scroll through TikTok without having to swipe away really quickly because I'm afraid of spoilers. I'm finally free. <laughs> and it's amazing, I love it. I just finished Throne of Glass, like the entire series. And even though I prefer Akatar over Throne of Glass, I freaking loved Throne of Glass. It's hard because I love the characters in Throne of Glass more, kind of. They just have such amazing character development, but I prefer like Akatar overall. And I know that's quite rare because most people who have read like all of the Sarah J Mass books love Throne of Glass the most, but my personal favorite is Akatar. In fact, I think I love Crescent City even more than Throne of Glass, and that's a super unpopular opinion. I freaking love Crescent City so, 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 so much. But I still love the Throne of Glass characters the most, if that makes sense. Oh, I like this combo. These two together look really nice. Honestly, this SPF looks so good. Evens out your skin tone. I love it, I love it, I love it. Just moisturize if you're dry like me. Going in with my good old Dominique Cosmetics. Just gonna blend that in. Um, by the way, if you are thinking about getting into the Massiverse, I swear book talk has taken over my life, but if you are thinking of getting into the Massiverse, I will say start off with Akatar. Super, super important for you to start with the Akatar series. A Court of Thorns and Roses, start with that book. Okay, read all of Akatar. There's like five so far. She's currently reading, the, uh, writing the sixth book. So start with Akatar, and then when you're done with Akatar, read Throne of Glass, and then when you're done with Throne of Glass, then you get into Crescent City. I actually read Crescent City, and then I read Throne of Glass, and I definitely think it should be the other way around because the Throne of Glass storyline is so slow. Like it definitely takes a while to pick up. It's amazing, but it's very, very slow. Whereas Crescent City is extremely fast paced right out the gate immediately like it is the opposite of slow and boring but they're all extremely important and so I think you should read Crescent City last even though I did not okay I'm gonna quickly set like the concealer on my eyes and on my 
creases here. I'm gonna take this little Milani Ungilded Most Loves Matte Palette and I'm gonna take this super light, creasy kind of shade. Creasy, obviously, depending on your skin tone. It's just this like light shade. And I'm gonna go into my crease. Just give a little bit of depth and dimension to the eyes while setting that concealer. The shade is called My Daily Latte. And on my lower lash line as well. Setting those concealer creases. Okay, since this is a colder, winterier, like snowy type of look, I am gonna get a little bit dramatic on how white my inner corners and my brow bone are to make it look like nice and icy. So I'm gonna take the LA Girl Pro Conceal in white and put some on the back of my hand and highlight. I definitely have to um, pluck my eyebrows, but that's okay. I'm gonna add this to my inner corners. See, like I feel like that already looks so chilly and icy and it'll all come together. Okay, I'm gonna take this RCMA Makeup Diamond Lights Pressed Powder. This is like a pure white, silvery type of highlighter, and it is amazing for this type of look. I'm gonna use it to add to my inner corners. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the Alamar Cosmetics Cheetos eyeliner. Line my eyes very carefully. Okay, you get the drift. I can't do that on camera. I can't even do that off camera. These are so uneven, but I wanted to keep them pretty straight this way and avoid the inner corners where the sparkly uh, white is. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And then for mascara, I'm actually gonna try out the Milani Highly Rated Lash Extensions Tubing Mascara. I've never tried this before, and I love tubing mascaras. Okay, this is quite uh, clumpy. Not my favorite, not my favorite. It's not one that you can layer that much because they clump together. If you just do a couple coats like the first time and not double it up, then you're fine. So when you start to add the layers, this mascara does not layer well. Like what is going on here? I'm gonna grab this little J-cap brush. Yeah, I don't think I like that mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and use a different one on my lower lashes. Trying to comb it out with the Benefit Fan Fest. Yo odio. <laughs> I hate when mascara has the freaking little balls on the top. It drives me crazy, like the little balls that accumulate like at the top of your lash when you've just like layered them too much. It honestly probably isn't the mascara. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to contour slash bronze with my Makeup by Mario Cream Bronzer. Cream contour. Uh, soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer <laughs> in light medium. I don't want something that's too bronzy or summery or that's gonna make me look too tan. I just wanna add a little bit of contour and bronzer. And I feel like this color is perfect for that. And this formula too, because it's so light. It's like the perfect winter contour. Okay, so to give myself that I'm in the snow kind of blush, I'm gonna take the brand new Tower 28 blush that just came out, it's called Dumpling Hour. How freaking cute is that name? All of their blushes are like blank hour, magic hour, beach hour. This one's Dumpling Hour, and it's the collab they did with Kung Fu Panda 4, so I'm super excited to try it out. And it's very, very pigmented, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's very glossy, so... 
I'm gonna start small. So pretty. I swear red blush can be so intimidating, but if you really blend it out, it looks so pretty. I'm not gonna dip back into the blush, but I'm gonna take what's already on my brush and run it over my nose because when you're out in the snow, you're just completely flushed. It's not just your cheeks, it's kind of just like this area. <laughs> like that. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of the RCMA highlight again and add that to the tippity tops of my cheekbones. This is a super intense highlighter, so I'm going in with a soft hand, but it honestly it looks like snow. <laughs> Gonna take that on my nose here, especially the little point. It's nice and snowy. My nose highlight always looks so funny because I have like two bumps right here. So it's never like a cute round little highlight. It's like a line. Okay, so typically with a look like this, you want to do that, that lip trend where your lips look kind of cold, where the center of your lip is darker, like a darker red, and then it bleeds out into a lighter red. But since I like to overdraw my lips, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do a classic red liner. This is Allure. Allure, Allure from Pat McGrath. Okay, I overdrew those a little bit, a lot of bit, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go over it with the e.l.f. Clear Lip Oil. It's the Glow Reviver Lip Oil in the shade Crystal Clear. A clear gloss, like on top of a red, really adds to that like, ooh, I'm cold look. A lip stain would be amazing for this look. Like if you had a lip stain underneath a clear like this, that would look amazing. Okay guys, that's it. This is my version of the I'm cold makeup. <laughs> look trend that was trending a long time ago. So not sure if you care anymore, but I love this type of look. I think it's perfect for this time of year. It's like the perfect December, January kind of look, even February, February. Mm -hmm. Maybe not in Miami, but I really love these types of looks. I'm obsessed with red blush at the moment. And I think with this like frosty inner corner, it just looks so wintry, I love it. But anyway guys, yeah, I hope you like this makeup look. I hope you recreate it at home, if anybody's still doing that out there. But that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!